You know it's going to be a good day when you get to start with an overpowered artifact. Every 30 pigs hit converted to a bomb. And we like bombs. Over the course of all these levels, there's going to be a lot of them. To start, I have three stones and one dag orb to hit the slimes with. And as we've already deduced, every 30 of these is going to turn into a bomb. The yellow ones give me a critical hit to damage the idiots up top with. And we already blew up a bomb, so the bomb goes out first, 50 damage to idiots, and then I hit my damage. And then we do it again. Every turn, idiots get closer to my idiot, at which point they collide, and uh, they'll damage me, and I won't damage them. I can damage him now though, so I've just gotta hit a lot of pegs. Little bit of luck combined with a little bit of skill, in one nice addictive little package. I think I want to try and hit one of the bombs if I can, or at least expose it. Uh, we did end up getting two bombs there. But we're down to this guy, he has weak regular attack, but massive critical hits, so I definitely want to hit one of the exclamation marks if I can. So we're gonna- I'm not very good at this yet, but you- oh, we got it anyway, that's what I was trying to do. Uh, and we hit a bomb once. We gotta hit a bomb twice to set them off, but they do 50 to everyone. So, we could try and hit both of the bombs on the way down. Okay, I hit what? Oh, we got a bomb. That should just about... Can we get another bomb, please? Okay, if you hit the R, it refreshes everything on screen. Bomb goes out, uh, and then our damage is going to go to the slime. Round one is ours. We have some very cool orbs to choose from. This one seems kind of cool. Could plus one, plus two for each stone in your deck. We're going to have a lot of stones in the deck because I'm basic. Then when you want to uh, decide which way to go on the map, you fire down there. Don't hit the fire. That determines your route on the map, but we're fighting more idiots. This level's a little bit of a chaotic mess, so I'm just going to kind of fire in there, hoping to get close to the bomb. We did get a critical hit overall, and this is the Orbalesk, so that's going to do quite a bit of damage thanks to all this bomb, so we'll make sure we get a crit right away, and there's hope that bounces into all sorts of good stuff on their way down. Whatever, that's still a pretty good hit. Two idiots now, so let's set off a bomb. We can do uh, damage both. If we do get a crit, I wouldn't complain. Well, we got a bomb. And then we'll hit the green slime, so he'll die. Any game based around murder is just going to be really good. Uh, I tried to hit the yellow critical hit peg and missed entirely. That's not going to do a lot of damage. That one's only good if you hit a yellow peg. We'll do a little refresh and hope for the best. Okay, this is the final slime of the level, so we're maybe going to start with a refresh. That way we're sure to get all the damage we possibly can on this little toss. Hit a bomb once, that's not enough to set it off. That's not going to be a ton of damage, but it's still not at us yet. And we got the one that we need to critical hit with, so critical hit for big damage. And then we're just going to absorb... Yeah, I think that should about do it. Nope, two HP left. So basically, as long as I hit a peg on the way down, it dies. And then we get a new orb. Polterp Geist is fun, but this one's also good. Converts every 10 hit into a bomb. So between that and my relic, we're going to get a lot of bombs spawning. I guess the moral of this story here is you can really just never have too many bombs. We're going to choose to fight an enemy next, because I don't know what the question mark is. That might be an item, it might not be, but I wouldn't want to make it too easy. And look at this fun level. We're only fighting a single slime anyway, so let's just try and get one big damage of critical hit. Uh, we set off two bombs anyway, that's actually pretty wasteful, but this is a really good shot. Okay, so the bombs go out and kill you. Then I fire at the next slime, so that worked out okay. That was a lot of damage, it was pretty wasteful. Uh, but now I've got this, and I really need a critical hit. That way I can actually do some damage with this one. So if you want to bounce over to the exclamation mark, it was so close. All right, well, here's a little hit. Well, there's two enemies, so let's see if we can get a bomb and then the exclamation mark. Yeah, so there's a bomb followed by a critical hit. So that will hit both of you for 50. I'll kill you. One red slime left. Correction, two red slimes left. Uh, Let's try and send it maybe this way. That way we can take advantage of some of those while creating some bombs with all our many bomb creating uh, tokens. Little bit of damage there. Okay, here's a bomb. That's going to hurt both of you incredibly much. And we created another bomb down below. Really, you're not allowed to have this many bombs, but we're just able to generate uh, enough that it really is making a difference. And here's the Orbalesk. So we'll make sure that's a critical hit. Whoa, it's so small and quick. That's what she said. <laughs> uh, the different orbs do act differently. and We just crushed him. Then we'll hit the restock. And that puts all of our things back. That'll hopefully finish him off. Yes. That's definitely a bit of overkill. Now we can upgrade an orb or heal. We don't need healing, so let's upgrade something good. If we upgrade the Orbalesk, it doesn't... If we had bold orbs, it would make a difference. I don't think we do. But we have these, so every 8 hit turns into a bomb instead. Even more bombs. And then we'll just try and go cleanly out without hitting the fire, please. Okay. Two damage. Okay, we'll just go this way then. Okay, since we're starting with critical hit boy, we're going to hit the critical hit right away and just hopefully hit enough of these on the way down to stack up to some real damage. I think that's going to work. Then we're going to stab this guy. Almost dead. Then we got the bob orb, so that's going to turn every 8 into a bomb. Plus every 30, so we're going to get a lot of bombs out there. Bombs take care of bats because they have very little health. 
there's a critical hit. So the two bombs will actually kill everything. Then two more bats come out, which should be fairly easy to destroy, especially with the bombs. And a nope, not quite a restock, but we'll take this. Especially because I'm pretty sure I can just go bomb to bomb again and they're already dead. Oh, actually, yeah, they're all dead, all three of them. Great. Good game, guys. It was fun. And then we get to pick another new orb. The multi ball is a lot of fun. I like the multi ball. Uh, we have question mark choices uh, no matter which way we go. So we'll hopefully just go cleanly not into the fire, please. Okay, we're having a fire bath. Worst things have happened. We'll get over it. Okay, we're going to the left. Oh, that actually basically gave us an extra turn if we go to the right after this. So we either embrace the lightning or random nav- We're going to embrace the lightning. Uh, so we got ball lightning from that, basically, which is a new orb. Not entirely sure what it does. Can target any enemy on screen. Critical attacks hit all enemies in targeted column so it would hit these two if i targeted them for now i'm gonna try and bounce straight down to the bombs but it's very hard to guide that it would be very great to blow those up if we could uh there we go and we got one of them okay we got a few bombs ready ish okay that one's gonna hurt them I'm gonna hit him a little bit okay this one's the one that's gonna convert some of these uh gray pieces into bombs i don't know if i should just go straight for the bombs or not Probably should have gone for some grays. That was a really bad play. To the surprise of no one, I made a poor choice. But that's going to set that bomb off at least. So that's going to kill a bunch of stuff. Okay, I've got to start playing this level better. There's a lot of damage walking my way and I should probably do something about that. I didn't mean to click that, but... Okay, well, there's a bomb anyway. That's going to finish off lots of things. So that actually worked out. I just really didn't mean to fire it that way. So let's hit some crits. Uh, we do need a restock at some point because we're running out of things to hit. There's not a restock. He's only got one health. Okay, this time we're going to restock for realsies. Uh, what is this one? Orblesk. So, great. You're dead. There is another Bob Orb, but I kind of like the sound of Ek Orb. Attacks all enemies. Deals 15% of previous attack damage as bonus damage. So if we get a big hit, that's going to follow up. Uh, there's treasure down there, so we're going to go for treasure. Okay, we're going to have treasure and then more treasure. So this is okay. Enhanced gunpowder clears nearby pegs when detonated. I think that means it absorbs them. So like if it detonates, we just get more damage out of our bombs. I hope I was understanding that correctly. Uh, decoy orb. Enemies don't get their extra turn for your first reload. That sounds pretty good. Because that's where most of the damage comes from. It would be that first reload. And then it's another little fight. So I'm going to attack this rear column because I can hit them both. Uh, there's a lot of different pegs here for me to take out so this could actually be a pretty big damage though those ones are different you mostly just fall through them but there's a critical hit also and a restock great so we hit both of them dead okay next is my wonderful multi ball so we're gonna fire that there and hopefully just hit everything there's a critical hit tons of damage going down we hit a bomb once we're gonna bounce around 88 damage Hmm, was hoping for a little more. Starting to take some damage myself, uh, but we got another one of these next. I gotta try and make my way over to some of those bombs. We did create another bomb up top. Uh, if we could just hit a few of them again, that would be great. Got one there. Oh yeah, and absorbed all those. So there goes the bomb. They hit some big damage from many things. Only one idiot left. They did one damage to me, so I'm gonna respond by bombing them. That's definitely gonna kill them, and then some. This is also the Ek Orb, so... It would add 15% of the last attack onto this one, but he's dead from that anyway. There is another multi-orb. I'm going to take that. Basically, I see that as making up for my lack of aim. Uh, we're basically doomed to go that way because... Okay, this is an interesting one. We're starting with the Orbalesque. I don't think they're standing in a column, but I do kind of want to... Yeah, do just that. Only because I thought that would be fun. Uh, in hindsight, it wasn't that useful, but we did hit him really hard. Okay, we got the multi-ball now. Let's send it that way. Uh, to just kind of hopefully set them all on a different path to hit all sorts of different things. And good enough. It's kind of hard to hit those bombs now, but I think... Well, we got a critical hit and a bomb. Perfect. I like how the bombs re-energize uh, my orb. Okay, there's two bombs, so that's 100 damage. That's going to kill everything. Then it's just this guy. He needs critical hits to... Uh, well, I should have hit more orbs while I was at it. I should have gone for that one. Because now we have Ek Orb, which is going to play off the last hit, which wasn't very big. So this is actually going to be a really bad one. Yep. But uh, now we got multi ball, so we're going to send them down there where they were hopefully going to get a restock. Wow, I'm really struggling for this last idiot. Okay, restock, please. There we go. And maybe even a bomb. There's a double restock. So this won't do a ton, but now we have things to work with again. So we could probably go like that and then that again to hopefully just get enough damage to kill him. Nope. Okay, we'll just land on the bomb then. That's going to finish him off for sure. And we got a restock anyway. Didn't need to take this long, but it did. Time to upgrade an orb. Let's upgrade the bouncy one. It's not good enough, so... The multi-ball, I mean, not the bouncy one. And we're going to go start 
Nope, we're going that way. I really want to try to go left this time after this one. Bad cheese, deal 15 damage to all enemies when reloading. Why would I not take that? Okay, and then we should be able to go left. And we get to fight a goat. And I get to use my multi-ball right away. So that's going to... Now we got four balls getting out there. Look at all that damage. That's fantastic. And that's got to be a critical hit. 72 damage. And then we get a regular multi-ball. So let's go that way. Critical hits. Oh, they didn't hit a lot on the way down. But the ball orb's in, so... I missed a critical hit there. Wow, this is not going well. This is the one that does need critical hits to do any damage, but I need it, there we go, to get a little bit of damage and then the critical hit. 63, he's getting closer. We got a regular stone. We need to try and get a restock. So let's get over to this little, there we go, restock. A bomb would be okay too. This one's not great. It basically just does some damage based on my last attack, which wasn't super good. So four whole damage and now that thing's in my face. So let's, I don't know, restock and hope for the best. Shouldn't have restocked there, but we did get a bit of damage on him for sure. He's probably going to hit me pretty hard, but we're going to bomb him. Then I think we'll actually get him here thanks alone to that bomb, plus 30 damage. So 50 plus 30 should be about 80, which means he dead. There's a bold orb. I think that actually adds damage to my other one too. And then we're going to take ambiguous amulet. Wall bounces contribute to damage. I like the sound of that. Off we go. All right, we're fighting a big slime, starting with the dag orb. So I need to try and get over to the other side if I can, uh, which isn't really going to work. But we got a restock, which we probably didn't want to use this early. 18 damage, only 702 to go. This is my upgraded multi-ball though, so let's let that loose right in the center where they're hopefully going to make a big mess of things. Or kind of do minimal damage. I do need to get these bombs going off. This is the Ek Orb. I don't really know where to launch it now, so we'll just kind of, kind of hope for the best. Okay, that didn't work out at all. Uh, another multi-ball, but I'm on this side now. So let's just kind of, I don't know, go like that. And hopefully they don't just fall straight down and out. Okay, we got another stone. So I'm going to aim it straight for that bomb. There we go. We got one bomb ready to go. So whatever, that's at least 50 damage plus 589 left. And he's doing a bit of damage to me every time. Bob orb. So we want to hit as many. Yeah, let's throw him down into there so we can get, yeah, there is three bombs. 150 damage plus 13. Uh, he just put me inside him, which yeah, that's fine. We'll find a way out of here. And actually, this guy just set up the second bomb, I think. So there's another 100 damage. I am being digested kind of slowly, though. Okay, let's go over. Can I fire that way? Yeah, let's get over there where it's kind of open season and then just get caught in balloons. I see how this work now. That's not super fun. So Orbalesque, go. Don't hit balloons. That could have been better. The balloons always suck you in and drop you straight down. We could get a critical hit. That was a bit of a risk, but I think I can hit a restock after this, especially with Bold Orb. Is that going to keep going? Can't launch it very far. Hmm. And no, nope, Bold Orb was not my friend here. I really, really need to get over there to that restock, so that should hopefully get it. Nope. Yep. Got it. Restock. So now we can do more damage again. So we're not going to hit the restock this time. Hopefully we're going to bounce to the other side and slowly build up some more damage. Not a lot, but we got some. Okay. We're down to four HP. So ball lightning really needs to do something. Critical attacks, blah, blah, blah. We just, we need anything at this point. This is bad. Okay. So we're dead. He had 169 health. I had bad, bad choices for a single boss. Okay. This time we're going to take super boots. We're going to heal after a battle and we're going to make better choices like this time we can start with a critical hit we're hopefully not going to hit a restock this early on it would be okay if that would fall towards bomb again well there's a hit anyway we'll do another crit and that's going to bounce wherever it wants to go for a big shot that's definitely going to finish off that one i need that bomb to go off though can i hit that directly maybe got it so there's 50 damage to all. Uh, there's a bomb on the other side. I'm going to try and restock and make my way over to that bomb. But that's largely out of my hands now. There's a restock. And fine. Uh, since I can't really get to what I want anyway, we're just going to try and... We hit the bomb once. We hit it once more, everyone's going to die though. We're running low on health already. Not low, but we've been hit. And I don't really love being hit that much. Okay, we got the bombs, so they're all dead. So long, idiots. Enjoy your explosion. I think this time I want to go for a bold orb. I think I could probably use that. And this is where I can heal myself. So if I hit enough of these, I think I get two health for every one. So that's going to help me. 97 health again. I probably should pick a good path downwards. So I probably want to go to the right to the right to get a treasure chest. So this one, we definitely need a crit to be able to do any damage at all. Wow, that was 
impressively bad. But we got a stone, so let's just set off a bomb. That's going to take them all down to 10 HP. If we get it a second bomb, that would be great. But we can't. I do have a bold orb, though. I don't think they bounce very far. Like, they're very heavy, so they just kind of stick to near where you fire them. So we got a bomb plus a crit, so that's definitely going to kill everyone. Yeah, because we're going to fire on him. Big damage. Then we're going to crit and hopefully hit every single one of those on the way out. We got a restock as well. Very satisfying. So he should definitely die. Uh, upgrade an orb. Oh, I kind of want to see what bold orb can turn into. He's going to start getting more damage and better crits. We said right than right. I do need a little bit of healing, so let's take a big risk. Cool. So the trick with this is getting down into all those bombs and getting them to set off. But I think we can do it because there's stone. Can we hit both of them at once? Yeah, we can. So all I got to do is fire. The oh, we got one bomb going off, two bombs going off. Okay, lots of bombs going off. Uh, yeah, those enemies are going to have a really bad time on this one. That might be a record for damage. So... Oh, the guys at the back didn't die. That's okay, because uh, there's another bomb. There's another bomb, so they're both dead. That was that level. It's that easy. I do want the Orbalesque again. Uh, plus one, plus two for each stone in your deck. I know if I upgrade that, it also helps with the bold orb. And we're just going to try and bounce down there nicely to get the treasure chest and a bit of healing. Then I want to go left to make sure we're hitting as many things along the way. Post battle healing is increased by 2% for each orb in your deck. Okay, well, we're going to heal after every battle. And then I said, did I say right or left? Left it is. As long as I don't manage to screw this up. Okay, and I might have actually managed to screw this up. That was scary, but we did it. Okay, there's only two enemies to start, so we don't really need to get super carried away on them. Let's just clear out some of the uh, regular pegs that don't really matter much. And we can restock afterwards, because that one actually hits decently hard. Bulldorp here doesn't stop to ask for directions. It just heavily bounces around and um, makes a giant mess of things. We got one bomb half triggered. Didn't get the other side, but yeah, that's a good one. Do we want to try and hit that bomb down there? That's probably risky. Let's just wing one out there. The enemies are still far enough away. I don't really have to care about them yet. Plus, we can heal after battle pretty well, so... There's one bomb, two bombs, so most of the things there are going to die. That's actually going to be a pretty hard shot overall, because they're dying. You get a uh, hit, and then 65 health left for that poor idiot. Uh, so we will definitely want that. Then this should hit reasonably hard. And 42 damage. Okay, should have hit that one a little bit harder. That idiot hit me. All right, time to start actually doing something to eliminate these idiots then. There's a critical hit. Oh, Bulldorb doesn't hit you because you're too high. Well, I guess I probably should have seen that coming, but I'm stupid, so... That should about finish you off in a big way. Oh, Make Orb sounds fun. Downgrade each one it hits by one damage, but Overflow. If you do too much damage, it passes on to the next idiot. I hope I was understanding that correctly. Okay, I think I need to go to the right here, so... Let's hope that keeps me in the right, and that gives me some... Oh, no. Wow, that couldn't have gone any worse. Uh, I'm going to offer this one because I don't like it that much. And my stone is now level 2, which is great. Okay, let's go down here to see what kind of treasure we're hopefully going to get. And then we get treasure after that guaranteed and there's a boss there. This time we're going to embrace the lightning and we got ball lightning. This should be free treasure. I don't know why some of these paths are highlighted. Whenever you heal lost health, deal two times that much damage to the next targeted enemy. Okay, well, I don't really think I have that option, but we're going to get some treasure. Oh, I forgot it was supposed to go that way first. Well, whatever. Treasure it is. Every 30 hits is converted to a bomb. And then we're back to this uh, spider web level. So we're just going to launch a random boulder rock. And um, that's going to hit that spider in front of me really, really hard, especially as a critical hit. They're pretty tough. I need to more of these bombs. And there's actually a lot of damage coming my way on this level. So we're not going to hit any bombs likely on this one. I guess we'll see. Some crits would be great. Bombs would be better. Oh, we did get a few bombs. That's going to hurt a lot of things and make me feel better. Because that kills almost everything. So we got Bold Orb. What are we going to do with Bold Orb though? Send them that way? Yeah, I guess that way works. It's so heavy it doesn't really go anywhere. It just It's really good. And that thing's low right now too, so I think we'll hit it. For enough damage to certainly kill it. Oh, the bomb also will kill it. So if I upgrade the Orbalesque, uh, the Bold Orb actually gives it extra damage too. And I only need a little bit of healing here. I didn't even get enough. Okay, we're starting with the Lightning Ball. Uh, I don't really care. This ball's pretty light and bouncy, but I just I would like to get some bombs if possible. Uh, okay, we got one bomb going on. That's fine. That'll knock them down a big way. We should be able to get another bomb hit. Yeah, I can get a direct hit there. Uh, this is the Orbalesque, so it's going to pick up lots of extra damage thanks to all my stones. Uh, we didn't get a restock there, but we got lots of damage, so yeah, that should kill 
At least that one. Okay, this is my level 1 stone going in then. Was really hoping to get a second shot on that bomb. But even as it is, that's big damage. That guy's got 400 health. So we want to tilt it maybe that way to try and go towards that other restock. Uh, we did start the other bomb though, so that's a big help. Because I think we're going to fire and finish you off. And then it's just big boy. Uh, we got boulder orb going in though. So I'm going to send it hopefully that way where I can get to the, well, lots of things. Uh, come on, hit a bomb. Hit, oh, it wasn't heavy enough to get the restock. It's still big damage though. Okay, let's see if I can ricochet it over to the, oh, that had a weird bounce. Well, there's a bomb. Okay, omega orb. We haven't really used this one too much yet. I want to hit a restock. Perfect. That's going to hit lots of other things. I think it just hits really hard considering the amount of gray things it hits. Yeah, that was 45 for minimal hits. And we get back-to-back -back Omega Orbs, so I don't really know where to send this. Maybe straight down... Wow, I'm never actually able to do that. That's not what I wanted to happen. I thought it would bounce all crazy-like. This game doesn't like me sometimes. Because I've tried many times to have a shot that bounces straight up and down, and I've never been able to do it yet. But that's okay. Uh, we'll whittle the health away. And a Sanford Ball Lightning. So I'm going to try and get a restock just to make sure we're getting maximum potential there. Some bombs would be great if you wanted to hit a bomb. No? 70 health left. And we're losing health ourselves. So let's try and get this thing killed, please. Bombs would make this so much easier. Can I hit a bomb now? How do I get to a bomb? This way? I didn't realize this was Bold Orb. Got him definitely dead and i have another orbalesque so that's good because that's gonna feed off my uh rocks again uh then i'm gonna get mental mantle immediately deal one damage to the target enemy for every two of those hit now to try and milk some healing out of this okay we're four healing if we hit these two we'll get four so even if we hit the wrong thing there's uh some more healing all right well we're slowly gaining health sort of Okay, we got that one, and we're done. This time we're fighting as a mole, but we're starting with Orbalesk, who can do big damage, especially if it gets some crits. So let's let it go, and hopefully it hits a billion of these red things. Uh, plus it's setting off a bomb. Okay, that's really big damage. Okay, and a few bombs. Wow, this is going to be colossal damage. 312. I don't know what we're getting. Oh, there's a tree in the way. Okay, well, the bombs hurt everything, I think. So he's already down a lot of health. The tree we just took off. Like 500 health. We gotta... Mm, we'll set up a bomb on this one. We'll... S I don't know if the critical hit moves after this, actually. I maybe should have gone for that now. Whatever the case, there goes a bomb. There goes a shot. Uh, yeah, the critical hits do move, so when I do get an opportunity to kill one easily, I probably should. But we hit the mole directly. Uh, I'm also gonna change to targeting directly the mole, because I think if I hit these, I do damage to them. Anyways, critical hit, because lightning. There is a bomb, so everything's gonna... Yeah, we are doing a little bit of damage now. Great. So there's a second bomb plus some big damage. Yeah, this is fun. This is a lot of damage. And a little more. So the mole took some damage. Plus some bombs going out to kill the plants. Mole gets lightning real hard. And then we're back to the Orbalesque, which is a very nice bouncy one. So it's going to take a lot of damage. We really want a critical hit though if we can. Uh, that's okay. We got a bomb. And lots of damage anyway. So the mole is 14 health left. I'm feeling optimistic about our chances, even if it's about to slap me. And here's the Omega Orb which is going to be a critical hit, plus some damage. Yeah, we'll see if this finishes off. Yep, that killed the mole. So the Orbalesque, I think we'd want to upgrade even further, so it's just going to do even more damage per extra rock and boulder. Okay, the Sapper Sack, deal two times damage to enemies. Oh, never mind, that's it. Well, we did a lot of damage and killed the mole. 